Mmm. Welcome to yet another episode of the Lunch and Learn. Obviously, this is the, you know, the um, pre-recorded part that I just put out there so that people understand what this video is all going to be about. So if you're watching this part, you're watching, um, you know, the, the replay of um, a show that we're doing live right now. And we're going to be talking about integrity. So just type in the number two. And once you're done, it will just notify us at what stage of the video you've watched all right and um you know it just helps us to know that we are actually helping people to have businesses that are profitable and enjoyable i see robert broker has just tuned in my man how are you doing thank you so much um yesterday i noticed that you you know you mentioned <laughs> my business name um you know in in, in um, a conversation that you were having offline so that is actually uh, remarkable of yourself and it also really really ties in with what i want to talk about today which is basically you know having integrity and being true to your word and actually um you know you know getting people to actually trust that you know if if they mention your name you know it, it actually makes um you know them look good i see toby king is in the house how you going my man thank you so much for the chat we had earlier on and um yeah you also got me thinking of a lot of things um and thank you so much for the offer for me <laughs> to come and stay in byron bay i'm gonna take you up on that because i normally just drive around with my family so that would be something that i will take on so thank you so much for that toby now for you know for those that are just watching and tuning into this show right now i want you to know that i viscerally believe that um, if you're an online business, you should be profitable and enjoyable. And those that have been working with me for the past couple of years, they would understand that I really want that if you have an online business, you should be able to create for and relate to those you're going to be demanding money off of. And that's the reason why every single day I sit around and then we teach you a four um, you know, step process that is designed to help you market scale, um, you know, and, and um serve your audience um so that you know you know they get to know like and trust you and at the background of what i do um is lead a team um you know of digital experts um you know that will help your small business grow through digital marketing strategies so today's topic is actually one of um the ones that i would never have thought is essential to talk about it's basically to do with integrity all right it's basically to do with how what you say should actually be um you know your 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 word and how do you know what i mean if you stand for something or if you actually stand for what you're actually saying people would actually get to trust your business so i never really thought that this is something that people needed to be conscientized on or to be uh, reminded of up until i went on quora yesterday and i started answering questions and i realized that there really is no integrity on the market right now and i thought it would be a good topic to talk about today lisa how are you doing thank you so much for having started your profile on abbott um i haven't um you know seen um I don't think you finished it, so you can quickly jump on when you have uh, finished. Ali Medoi, thank you so much for tuning in, brother. Oh, wait a minute. Today is Tuesday, right? Were we not supposed to be having a meeting? <laughs> Let me know if I've completely forgotten a lot of things. A lot of things are happening around here. All right. So basically, um, what, 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 what I really wanted you to understand is we've gotten so accustomed to mediocrity we've gotten so accustomed to the wearing away of integrity in our modern world you know what i mean we are just told a couple of sentences um you know and um we we literally just fall for them just because it's it's harder and harder for you to search things on google um or are we getting lazier and lazy i'm not quite sure you know we we we're, we're told um you know we're getting used to companies lying to us we we're, we're getting used to be told um you know to hold for customer support and for what feels like you know hours and listening to repeated messages like your call is important to us and somebody will be with you shortly because if my call was really important to you mr telephone company you would have jumped onto it as soon as you can you know you waited until your 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 what do you call it your agent 
um, has gone to lunch and then or a break, a cigarette break, just because they can't stand their job. And then when they come back, that's when they decide to pick up the phone. And we as a people, we've become immune to that. We've become immune to products that lie about their ingredients. We've become immune to, um, you know, service providers that fail to deliver their service. And at times we even forget um, you know, why we actually bother when we purchase something and it's not as described because every day when you're driving to work, you see this billboard with a big Mac that looks this big, but when you buy it, you're disappointed because your big Mac looks like this. Do you know what I mean? And we've become accustomed to that and we, we, we know, per perhaps, uh, you know, cynically, that the person who said... Um, they were going to do something or they were going to call us. They're never going to do it. Why have we succumbed to that? Why have we as a people just accepted mediocrity as if it's the norm? And yet on the contrary, if you really look at it, we really get pleasant resupplies when somebody shows up. We get pleasantly surprised when a delivery turns up on time. We get pleasantly surprised when, um, you know, a, um, somebody says uh, uh, um, something will be delivered within seven business days and it comes in five business days. And somebody actually says that they will do what they will do. You know, we actually get taken aback when we, you know, call your telephone company and on the other end is a customer service of somebody who's actually a person. And, you know, is, is, this, is this what it's come to be that we actually expect mediocrity and don't even do anything about it? And we still stay loyal to those businesses because we don't have that much of a choice, you know? But when somebody does something remarkable, you know, we now start thinking, whoa, that company has integrity. That company actually lives up to its values. That company actually delivers. And I want you to know that integrity actually will make your business stand head and shoulders above everybody else. Because once somebody sees remarkable work, guess what happens? They talk about it. They talk about it at a barbecue. They talk about it at bingo. They talk about it wherever they go. Do you know what I mean? So I just really want that whatever you're going to be doing out there, be impeccable with your word. If you stand for something, stand for that particular thing, because if you don't have anything that you actually stand for, um, guess what? You will fall for anything. And I want that whatever you speak, you actually speak with integrity and you only say what you actually mean. Because it, it's, it's now what society has become and even Facebook has stopped you know, making people reach out or pages or businesses reach out. Um, you know, you know why? Because there's so much fake news out there. So what I'm really just putting across today is, do you have integrity within your business? And is integrity actually your unique selling proposition? I see Christina has just tuned in and Kirsty Denbar. Thank you so much. And Kirsty, thank you so much for highlighting, um, you know, that, part of my business that people are talking about, which obviously, um, you know, depending on whose side of the story you're listening to, integrity really needs to be paramount when business is being conducted, you know? So I might be muffling about and just really talking about stuff that is pretty much obvious, but I don't think people actually understand what they're expected of within their business. What exactly is integrity anyway? You know, what, what is your understanding of integrity? Can you type in the comments there what you think integrity, um, you know, means within your business and what it actually, um, you know, means you should be doing? Can you, can you just type in if you're watching right now and let me know what you think integrity actually is, okay? Because a lot of businesses don't possess it. A lot of business people don't even own it. And a lot of business people don't even understand or even know what, what actually it means um, you know, to have integrity. Because have you ever noticed when somebody says the truth these days, they actually break the internet because the world is no longer accustomed to, um, you know, people that are actually saying what it is that they actually mean and doing what they actually mean. So my question is, what exactly 
is integrity and why is it important, especially now, um, you know, within business? Because let me tell you something. People are watching. Whatever you say, whatever you're, you're going to, 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 to write about, if you don't follow that up with action, if you don't back that up with deeds that show that you actually, um, you know, you know um, have integrity, people are just going to walk away and find somebody else that can serve them. Good day, Lisa. How are you doing? Uh, Robert, thank you so much there. So from what I understand, integrity actually means standing by your word in everything that you do. Not just lip service, but in everything that you actually do. If you say you're going to show up at 2 p.m., show up at 2 p.m. If you say you're going to deliver the goods at um, within seven business days, deliver those goods within seven business days. You know, because when you... When you take money for a service or for a product, you must stand behind that service or products with everything that you have. I've got this guy, I think Kirsty, if you're still watching, you would confirm. This guy who's going about, you know, trying to, um, you know, uh, taint my name or drag my name in the dirt by saying he delivered a service or he delivered goods which were substandard and mediocre, but he's now using my name so that he gets fame to other mediocre people all around um, wherever he hangs out there, you know? When you take money or when you say you're going to deliver a service or a product, you must stand behind that product with everything that you've got. You know, that business transaction is a test of your own integrity. Why would you want to, why would you want somebody to uphold their end of the deal when you're not producing the right goods that you promised, the right service that you promised? Do you deliver what you say you deliver? That's my question to you. Do you actually deliver the service or the goods that you promised that you're going to deliver? The promise is not just in speaking one-on-one. -on -one. The promise is what is on your website. The promise is what you stand for. The promise is how you actually show up to your audience. Do you turn yourself inside out to deliver for your client or do you just do it for the money? Because people are watching, people see, and yes, you might get a fluke of a service today, but that's not going to be repeat business, you know? So what does it actually mean for you to actually have integrity with your business and integrity with who you are personally and what you stand for and what you stand to deliver and what your promises are? Now, Lisa says, for me, integrity is everything positive, being completely authentic, honest, and transparent with everything um, that you absolutely do. Well, that's, that's true, you know? And, um, you know, at the end of the day, half the time is when you say you're going to do something, try by all means to do it. If you promise somebody, you know what happens, or if you book a call with somebody, guess what happens? Somebody... Another client could have possibly booked that slot. Another client could have possibly been served, um, you know, by, um, by, by that particular service provider. And by you hogging that spot, guess what? They would have forgotten. They, they, they would have maybe gotten all the resources they have within their businesses to make sure that that call or that appointment was a success. And then you just don't show up, you know? So you got to have integrity with others. Have integrity with your own self. Hold yourself accountable. Are you showing up in the world as you would want, um, you know, other people to treat you? Or are you treating other people as you would want yourself to be treated as well? Because at the end of the day, it's far easier to be truthful, to be honest, than to live a lie. Because then at the end of the day, you have to justify that lie and sometimes you forget, you know? So why not just be, you know, live with integrity in the first place? Now, Robert says, actually, I do because I don't offer anything at all for sale at this time. All right. I'm talking about the people that are actually serving others, people that are actually putting out content or, you know, stuff out there for other people to pay for, you know? So being in, te in integrity does not actually, does not just mean that you can, you're always delivering. I mean, obviously, I'm just saying, but it means that. Whatever you do, you do everything in your power to prove that to the other person that you mean what you actually say. 
I'd, I'd really like to call it turning yourself inside out. If you can't make an appointment or if you can't arrive on time, call in advance. Apologize in advance so that that person is prepared. Because unless you've turned yourself inside out to keep your word, you are not in integrity. You know, a lot of people just think it's something that can be brushed under the carpet. But, you know, when you're running a business and somebody does not show up or somebody does not uphold their end of the deal, it, it basically ruins your whole day. It basically ruins your whole mood. You know what I mean? And why would you want that happening to somebody else just because you can't keep your end of the deal? You know what I mean? So, I mean, of course, you can't always renegotiate your agreement. Um, that, you know, that can also be, you know, you know, be part of what, what, what the whole integrity really is. So instead of trying to please everybody else and become overcommitted, why don't you just admit it and, and, and use your words to renegotiate that, uh, that agreement with that person and just say, hey, listen, I can't overcommit right now because, you know, I don't want to waste your time. You know, so, you know, some people really can't say no, and that's not integrity at all. And people who actually lack integrity, they do not stand by that word. And, and they really avoid difficult conversations that may arise, um, you know, when they have to renegotiate their position. And when people lack integrity, we can easily, you know, find ourselves confused about their intentions or their feelings and whether we can or cannot trust them. People do business with those they know, like, and trust. Every single day, are you saying or doing what you said you were going to do to deliver your service, to deliver on your promise? You know, because at the end of the day, if you're not with integrity within yourself, if you don't hold yourself accountable for the results that you're supposed to be delivering or the results of your clients, then what makes you think that, um, you know, you'll be, um, you, you'd have integrity with, with upholding other people's end of the deal as well. Because having integrity with yourself is just as important. You know, how many times do you buy something and you automatically want a warranty or a guarantee that in case it doesn't work, you can return it? But how many times are you willing to be on the other side of the of the till and somebody returns something or somebody wants their warranty back or their money back. Do you hold yourself accountable for when something doesn't work just because it was your fault? Sometimes we don't we don't look at it like that. Do you keep your word to your own self? If you say you're going to be um, creating for and relating to your audience, do you stick to that? Or do you just jump at the first hurdle or when people don't show up in your live video, you, you stop doing it just because nobody's watching. So when you decide, so maybe it was your New Year's resolution to, to maybe lose weight or change a habit. Do you actually follow through, um, you know, or, or do you let, you know, your weak behavior get the better of you? Because that's where integrity stems from. If you cannot follow a few rules that you set for yourself, what makes you think you will listen to what other people have to say? You know? Because right about now, this is probably the 30th of January now, and most New Year's resolutions have already been thrown in the bin. You know? They don't last because people lack integrity within themselves. You know? <laughs> and the more our own words let us down, the less faith we actually have in our own words, in other people. And ultimately, we don't actually believe we can follow through with anything that we say we're going to do for ourselves. And guess what happens? You become inconsistent. And when you're not consistent, you, you lose confidence. And when you lose confidence, you then don't show up to meetings. And you wear down the faith that you have in yourself. And after that, you're just one of those people that are not full of integrity and all your relationships will suffer. You know? So you might be asking yourself, you know, how can I be in integrity? Because it is something that a lot of people overlook. But if you don't keep your word, you know, if you're not impeccable with your word, whatever you say you're going to do and you don't do it, and if you know you cannot do it, 
and 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 you keep saying, "Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna show up to your meeting, or I'm gonna be there, or I'm gonna deliver it on Sunday," when you know you don't work on Saturday, you need to renegotiate your word if necessary, but never go back on your word. You know, back in the time, people would spit on their hand and and shake on it. These days with the, with the screens and everything else, people can hide behind a screen and more and more people are losing integrity. They're not showing up to actually deliver. They're not showing up to help their clients and they're not honest enough. Because if you're not honest, people are not going to want to do business with you and who is ever going to trust somebody who is not honest? You know? So you, you have to be free to speak your thoughts and feelings honestly. That's how people connect. That's how you become authentic. And never use your words to mask the truth. Rather, use, you know, you make sure your words are actually carriers of the truth. And once you start speaking the truth, people will trust you. And like I always re remind you, people do business with those they know, like and trust. Are you upholding integrity with whatever you do, whoever you talk to and whatever you say within your business? You know, and when you and when you deliberate on your words, tell yourself and others that, you know, words actually carry a lot of weight. You know, so never use words against somebody that you actually do not mean. If you don't mean anything, don't say it. G'day Vivian, how's it going? <laughs> Hope, hope, uh, you know, because your word is bond. Your word should mean everything to you and as well as to others because words are powerful. So use them wisely. And that's where integrity, you know, spurs from, you know. So when you stand behind your word and, and, and you do everything that you say you're going to be doing soon, people will start trusting you. People will start recommending clients to you and don't take it lightly, you know, because the more you stand for what you stand for, then the more people would know that you're a reliable leader that they can trust with their personal life or their business life. And that's where the magic really is. Just have the decency to respect yourself, your word or the people you're going to be dealing with. And then every relationship will start making sense, whether it's personal or it's business, because there needs to be trust. There needs to be integrity. You need to stand by your promises. And once you're in that sort of framework, you know, you become a magnet that attracts the right kind of people with the right kind of pain. And you would be the one person who can solve their problems. And people really want to do business with those that can keep their word. You know, can you imagine if your your business was a tow truck and then somebody's car gets 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 um you know breaks down in in the middle of um you know it, it breaks down in the middle of the road and if you don't stand with your word that will be there within five minutes, what's going to happen? You will cause accidents. You know, you will hurt you know innocent bystanders just because you're not sticking to your words. So at the end of the day, look at what your website is saying. What are you delivering? Because people don't also just listen to what you say. They look at your actions. And then you start wondering, why are people not purchasing my, my product? It's because of the word of mouth that's going on around your terms of service or how you deliver. Just be so good that people cannot ignore you. Because sometimes people think that, oh, all you need is, um, you know, you know, this, this new tactic or this new, um, you know, gizmo or a new website or a click funnels, you know, there is so much importance in honesty and integrity within business, you know, because once you, you, you are honest and once, because tell me. How many people would like to be lied to all the time? You know? And uh, Robert says, I noticed that magnet effect today when I appeared on somebody's live. Many people that joined after that point were all, of, all from my friends list. Absolutely. You know why? Because they already know and trust what you're going to be putting out there is, is, is truthful. So they will put their attention to that. You know? 
Because sometimes we might just want the quick fix. You know, sometimes we might just want the, um, you know, the, 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 the fast or instant gratification. But there are no moral shortcuts in this game of business or in life in general. You know, there are basically three kinds of people. The successful, the temporarily su successful, and the ones that be be become and remain successful. And the difference between that is character. And what is character? Is a list of habits and activities that, you know, you do on a single, uh, on, on a daily basis that show how much integrity you actually have. So whatever you're going to be doing there, people are looking for leaders and great leaders never compromise their honesty and integrity by cheating or by lying or not standing to their word. You know, every time we see a lot of temporary winners out there, they, they show up today, they win a few accolades and then after that they can't keep up because their lies catch on with them, you know. And um, sometimes, you know, you might think that all these companies that are doing well by cheating people, these days you can't, go, you can't go far. Look at what happened to VW. They have been taking people for a ride for the past, I don't know how many years. And they lied to people about, you know, their, their, their diesel emissions. But guess what? People will catch up on that. And what happened to the CEO? Didn't he quit? Because he felt embarrassed. You know? He felt embarrassed. Integrity means doing the right thing because it's the right thing to do. As a leader or as a business owner that you're going to be... All leaders that I know with integrity may not be the most famous or the flashiest leaders. And they don't care about that. Integrity means doing the right thing because it's the right thing to do at that particular moment. And I knew this topic was not going to be a famous one because people just like fluff. And when the truth comes, they can't handle it anymore. And that's what makes the difference. And that's where success really lives in the so hard to bear truths that people are not willing to sit around for 30 minutes and actually listen and, 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 and notice and take stock of where they are and what they're actually delivering. And that's also the integrity of giving and keeping promises. I've kept my promise of being available every single day at 2 p.m. if I can handle it. Because leaders keep their promises. And they give their promises carefully, even reluctantly, because they know that once they've given that promise, they have to follow through on that promise without fail. And that's where integrity stays in. And always tell the truth because it will catch up with you. Everything that is on the internet, guys, is written in stone. And guess what? People are watching. You might as well make it a good show for them. You know? So at the end of the day, you know, you know everywhere we go, even in a job interview, People sit face to face for 10 minutes, lying to each other, both the hirer and the employee. Yes, I'm good at doing this. Yes, I'm good at doing this. Wait for them two weeks later. They can't even perform that job. You know? So at the end of the day, it's just one of those things. Have that candor. People are afraid of integrity people are afraid of the truth and if you don't have the guts to spill out the truth or to sit around and watch the truth unfold you're not an effective leader because leaders with integrity are not afraid of the truth you know and this is called the reality principle of seeing the world as it really is and not as you wish it to be you know it's, it's pretty much one of the most important principles of leadership is to, to demand truthfulness and honesty for everybody that's around you. That's how you create businesses that are profitable and you can actually enjoy working in them. You know, because some people just like things that are sugar coated. You know why? Because, yeah, everyone is a winner, not in the game of business. Integrity means telling the truth, even if the truth is ugly. 
Good day, Luke Moroni. How's it going, my brother? So better be honest than to delude, you know, others. When you say you're going to do something, do it. When you say you're going to deliver within seven business days, deliver within seven business days. Because at the end of the days, if you think you're cheating people, they're seeing it and you're probably deluding yourself too. You need, you need to stand, you know, guard to what you say, who you say it to, and what the effects of that word is to yourself. You know? And Luke says, a bit late today, setting up Abud. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. All right? So there should be no exceptions to honesty and integrity in whatever you're going to be doing in your business. And that's how you stand out. Because integrity is a state of mind. It's not situational. So if you compromise on your integrity in small situations or in little, you know, you know, little consequences, it becomes easy for other people to take advantage. You want to make sure that you stick around with your word. You stand for what you say you're going to be doing and you go out and do it. That's how you become remarkable. That's how people start talking about you. And that's when word of mouth starts leaving. And like I said, be so good that people cannot ignore you. And don't go out there looking for instant gratification because it's instant. And pretty much the, the, the faster it comes, the quicker it goes. You know? And like I said, if you're going to be constantly living a lie, it's exhausting because the truth will quickly catch up on you. Yeah. So at the end of the day, like I keep saying, just be who you are, be authentic and stand behind your word. You know, and you start living in, in, in your true authentic self and everything becomes simple. And that's who people are looking for in the world. Not a copycat, not a one-click wonder. I really hope you're going to revert back to this video at some point when you feel like your integrity is, is not at par. Because when you have integrity, it will overflow into every relationship, every client you deal with. And guess what happens? Word of mouth starts spreading and you don't have to work as hard as you are right now trying to cover up your back because you lied about a promise that you can't deliver anymore. I really want that your business is profitable and enjoyable, you know, and I really want that you have the right people in your life, people that really want to do business with you because they viscerally believe in what you've got to say and who you are as a person, not because they got tricked into signing a contract and now they can't get away from it. Have the integrity and have the decency to do unto others as you would want others to do unto you. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you guys tomorrow again.